Now let's get back to Chief Meteorologist Bobby Deskins. You know, Bobby, it's really been kind of a gloomy day today. A lot of clouds around. We had some storms that start along the coast. Remember, a west wind will do that. We'll get that rain in the morning and then gradually work its way inland. And as it did today, those storms got bigger and they produced more clouds. And even when the rain did stop, clouds were kind of left over. And I think we'll go partly to even mostly cloudy overnight tonight. Let's get started tropics wise. We have we have a lot to talk about. And I really think this period from now through about September 10th, is going to be the real active period. We've got two storms that we're keeping an eye on right now. These are just actually waves, but they're looking like they're going to develop. We've got 97L, that's the front runner there, and then they just named 98L. It's not a name, but it's what's called an invest, and it allows us to start running models on it and organize all the data underneath 98L or 97L. Uh, so now models are going to start running on that 98, especially because we've been doing that on this first one. The first one, as a matter of fact, is moving through the Windward Islands right now. It's near Barbados now, and it's moving off towards the west. The winds sustain are about 30 miles per hour. It's just not organized. It's moving to the west around 25 miles per hour, and pressure is pretty high at this point. Most of the forecast models keep it down in the Caribbean and then up into the central gulf. So this one we'll have to watch. I'm not as concerned about this, but it's certainly something we have to watch. The second one, this is a more organized one. It has a 70% chance of developing. This is 98L. And you can see right now, it looks a whole lot better already. So this one may even be developing sooner. Moving to the west at 22 miles per hour. Winds are about 30 miles per hour. Now this is just the GFS model. And the two circles you see there are the two waves. This is Sunday. This Sunday, there's one wave entering the central Gulf of Mexico off the Yucatan Peninsula. The second one is south of Hispaniola, moving towards Cuba. Ready? Watch this as we get into Monday. It's south of there. The other one goes in towards Texas. Uh, the other one's still weak, the second one, and it's into the southern Gulf of Mexico. Now, the European model takes that second one, the one that's circled there, and moves it up east of Florida as a pretty good-looking storm, just east of Florida. The bottom line is for this weekend and the beginning of next week, we're not going to know right now what that's going to look like. We do know that we have both of those waves that have to be watched, and that's exactly what we'll do for you. I'm not overly concerned, but I'm, I'm perked up, and I'm going to be watching this, and the whole team, we've been working on this for the last several days, as a matter of fact. There is some shear. Now, that was Saturday. This is Sunday. And regardless of that first wave coming in, if it does go in the southern Gulf of Mexico, we won't get much from the wave itself, but that shear is going to push a lot of rain our way. So even the weekend forecast, without a storm coming right at us, is up in the air, because I think we're going to end up with more rain than anything else. The next two names on the list are easy to pronounce, Laura and Marco.